Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome back to episode 45. If you did miss episode 44, check out. It's in the top right of your screen right now. But if you're enjoying the Football Manager content, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Hit that notification bell as well if you can. But in today's episode, we're playing against Yeovil. It is a home match. They're 10th in league. Hopefully we get a good result here. Trying to make it 108 points in the season for us. The current record in the league is 105, so if we can get a draw or a win here, we'll become record holders for that as well. But before we show you the team, let's show you what happened in the last episode. In our last match, we did win 3-0 against Wealdstone. Very good result. We got a clean sheet and we got goals from Yusuf, Drogba and Young. Guys have been playing really well together, getting great team goals. And let's show you the league table. So in the league, we're champions. We've won 35 out of 35 and we've got 105 points and got a 62 goal difference. And we're a huge 37 points ahead of Stockport in second place. Before I show you the team for today, I have made a sign-in for next season. We have signed Duncan Watmore. Very good player. He has great stats for his position. He has great technical stats for where we need him. He also has great mental and physical stats, but he will improve in training. I have got him on trial till the end of the season until he signs because he's not actually with the club right now. But with him being for free, he should be a good signing for us. And like I said in the last episode, we do need to start planning for next season and being in League 2. But let's show you what team we're using today, guys. And for today's game, we are back to a full strength squad. Basically, we have basically all the players that we've been using for most of the season. So wing goals, we've got Leighton. At right back, we've got Horsefield. In the centre of defence, we've got O'Connor and Keller. At left back, we've got Record. In the centre of midfield, we do have Rose back from suspension. He is joined by Bodu. At right wing, we've got Green. Left wing, we've got Davies. In attack mid central, McGee's back. And we've got Panticelli back up front again. We do have a stronger sub bench this time, but hopefully we shouldn't have to use them. But as usual, if they're there, we can make use of them. But let's try and make it 36 out of 36 and get into the game. And here's the team lineup. Let's get in the dressing room. And this is a great opportunity to show the pundits they've been right to back you. Let's give them some encouragement and get into the game. And we start off with Smith on the ball. Kicks it forward. Record clears it. John picks up though. Back to Wilkinson. Plays it forward. O'Connor gets there to Davies. Davies moves forward. Plays it to McGee in the box. And it's into Green and he takes a shot but it's cleared. Clark gets it away. Horsfield picks up though. But it was a good win in the last game. We did get another clean sheet, which is great. We were leaking a lot of goals earlier in the season, but it seems like the defence have picked up on uh, all their training and making sure that they can keep clean sheets now, which is always good. We have been scoring a lot of goals lately as well. We got three again last game, which is good. Um, it was a mix of players as well. We got defenders and strikers and midfielders all scoring, which is always great. But the most important thing is we also got three points. We are on 105 points right now, which is incredible. But we have 10 minutes to half time. There hasn't been too much happening yet. Can we sneak a goal before half time? And we couldn't sneak a goal. It is half time. It is nil nil. Currently, we have had seven shots. So you're on target with 63% possession. Hopefully, we can make that count in the second half as usual. We always dominate the game. So let's get into the dressing room. They haven't really been playing well, but let's go with keep going out there and you can still win this one. Try and keep it a little bit uh, positive at the minute. I don't want to go screaming at the players. We will man mark Warbit and when we get the chance, the ball is with... Oh, and it's saved by Leighton in there. Quick corner in there. Leighton clears it. Gets it to Ponticelli, who gets it to Davies. Davies moves forward here. And Worthington picks it up. John moves it forward. O'Connor picks it up to Rose, though. Back to Kelleher. O'Connor now. Into McGee. Bodu plays it to Davies. Davies plays it to Record. And he moves forward with it. Can he get the ball in? Plays it to Davies, great ball in, Ponticelli there, hits the post, very good chance there, hopefully we'll get many more here, balls with record again, McGee to record, record into Davies, plays it back to record again, can he get the ball in here, and he can, it's cleared, ball's picked up by Warburton and he moves forward, and good chance there but Leighton picks it up, let's man mark Warburton when we get a chance, McGee at the edge of the box. Knocks it in and it's just hit the tip of the bar. Good chance there. We have about 35 minutes left to go though. Hopefully we can get a goal here. Let's move to attacking because we've been playing pretty well. Let's encourage the team again. McGee on the corner. Knocks it in. And it's a penalty. Horsefield has it here. Hopefully he can make it 1-0. Steps up. And he knocks it in 1-0. Great penalty from Horsefield there. Eighth goal of the season for him. Magnificent as well considering he's a right back for us. A lot of them have been from the penalty spot. But nonetheless he has had a good uh, goal record for us this season. And that's us having the lead. 
What we're going to do is let's move from attacking to positive. Record is now in the ball. Hopefully we can make it a second. Just get that cushion that we always need. McGee's on the ball to Davies. And he loses it to Worthington again. Balls play forward to Warburton. And he tries to chip the keeper, but it just goes over a good chance there. Very lucky for us. Bodu has the ball now. Plays it to record. Great play here. Back to Bodu to record. And it's a good chance. McGee takes a strike and it's saved there from Smith. It's a corner now. McGee's on the ball. Knocks it in. And it's cleared. Hopefully Green gets there. We have about 15 minutes left to go. John's on the ball now. And it's just gone over. There's been lots of chances in this half. What we're going to do is let's move to uh, defensive. Last 10 minutes. What we're going to do is we actually haven't made any substitutions either, which we probably should have. Let's quickly pause the game. What we're going to do is let's take Green off because he is injured at the minute. We'll bring on... Let's put Yusuf there. We're also going to bring off Davies for Drogba because we do have a game in a couple of days. So I don't want to tire the guys out. And let's bring Redmond on for McGee. I'm not too worried about Keller at the minute because I do have a lot of places that can take his place in the next game. We do have a lot of substitutions that haven't had a game today. But let's do that for just now. We've got five minutes left to go. Let's quickly just do time wasting whenever possible. And let's go very defensive, see this game out. Balls with Horsefield right now, plays it to Yusuf, back to Horsefield. It's knocked forward. Drogba picks up the ball to Baudu. Drogba has it again. Plays it to Record. Back to Baudu. Record again to Baudu. Into Redmond. To Rose. Good play here. Yusuf on the ball. Plays it in. Ponticelli tries to get a strike but doesn't get there. It's now a throw in. Rose has the ball here. Hopefully he just wastes a bit of time. Plays it to Baudu. Horsfield gets up to Yusuf into the box. And it's a corner. No, oh, sorry, it's a goal kick. I thought it was a corner there. Smith has the ball now. 15 seconds left to go. And it goes out for a throw in for Wrexham. And that's the end of the match with 1 1 0. It was a little bit tight. It probably should have been by a bigger scoreline, but we did get the three points. We also got another clean sheet, three in a row, which is great. We did get the goal through Horsfield by a penalty in the 65th minute. We had 17 shots, 6 on target, which is disappointing. But we did have 67% possession, so we did dominate the game as usual. Let's get into the dressing room. And it was a good win. So that's us 1-1-0. We did keep another clean sheet. I was wrong in the game. We actually have got 6 in a row in the league through clean sheets, which is great. And even if we look before that, the only goal that we did concede was against Torquay before that. It was another clean sheet, clean sheet. Clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet. So we're actually kind of holding every team out now at the minute, which is great. Obviously, it would have been better to get a bigger scoreline there. We did dominate the game, but we did get a penalty through Horsfield, who did dispatch it. And looking at the league table, that's us won 36 games out of 36. We've got a 63 goal difference, and we've got 108 points. We now have 39 point lead over Stockport in second place. But that doesn't really matter. We have been crown champions, but we do want to win every game if possible and try and get maximum points. I also want to try and get the invincible season where we don't lose in the league. So hopefully, we can continue that. We do have eight games left. In in league so it is a long way to go but i am quite confident in the players that have been playing really well so hopefully they can keep up for the rest of the season but our next episode we are going to be playing against boreham wood they are 13th in the league it is an away match for us hopefully we can make it 111 points we also have the fa trophy final coming up in a few games so we do want to make sure that the players are ready for that but as always guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of your day stay safe out there and i'll catch you next time